Hello there. I've just managed to save my skin and put a battery in this iPhone SE phone after a little disaster. So I want to help other people who've had a similar disaster. Just over a year ago, I put a new battery in this iPhone 5 quite simply and it's okay just using one of the standard battery kits that you can get. So I thought, right, should be easy. I want to put a new battery in this iPhone SE. What could go wrong? Well, actually the iPhone SE has got quite a lot more complication than the iPhone 5. And you'll find there's a lot more cables that have to be disconnected between the front panel, the display, and the backboard. So you have the standard kit. So you've got your standard suction cup with ring and you've got various bits and pieces which would be nice guitar picks later and I love this thing it's called a spudger so they gave us two spudgers and of course the all important screwdrivers which you've got the special five pointed star which can undo the screws over here now I'm going to leave this uh, procedure of how to open the phone and how to change a battery to the other videos there's many out there of how to do but what went wrong in my case well in the instructions which are quite clear with a standard kit and you I'm sure you'll have something similar it does say to take the adhesive strips off the back of the battery so there's a little diagram and couple of little strips that you've got to cut and pull the strips out. Now, I'm not going to take my phone apart again. Um, I've had enough of that today. So it's working now. I'm not going to touch it again. But what I'm going to do is simulate for you what went wrong and how we can fix it. Now, with the iPhone 5, the battery was just resting inside. But with the iPhone SE, the battery is stuck inside using these command strips or whatever they're called. So what this is, these are double-sided adhesive strips. And the idea is that when you want to take these strips out, you've probably seen them elsewhere. You just simply, just simply pull the end. Ideally separate the two. Pull, 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 stretches amazingly. And then it just rips out sideways and you should just be able to lift out the battery and sure enough it's what a lot of the videos show you maybe this phone is a bit old in my case the strips were very very weak and i really took special care i could promise you slowly not snagging on anything this is okay and then stop oh, so i managed just to get the bit back and really, even more carefully, and even slower, pull, 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 snap. And by this time, I was really in trouble. And the same with the other one. So there's two adhesive strips. So I've simulated it here. Here, I'd just like to have a look at this battery here. This is the battery that came out. This is the original Apple battery that came out of this phone. And I'm just using blue tack, or white tack in this case, to simulate what went wrong. So the idea is that you have these adhesive strips and you're supposed to pull out, pull out, pull out, pull out. I'm being really, really careful and then oink. And in this case, it goes straight back underneath. And so you just get back another one, pull, and it goes out, oh no, just get, and it gets worse and worse. And then you're stuck because what's happened is the adhesive strips have gone back underneath the battery and it's still stuck like a rock. What do you do apart from cry? Well, I'm an engineer, I don't cry. My engineers have to think carefully. So, what to do? What I wanted to do was to get those strips out and there's not much room inside the phone. It is very, very tight. So what I did, and I'll just cut a long story short, I got some sewing thread, and one piece isn't enough. A button thread is even better if you've got it. And then I folded it four times, and then twisted it so it's strong, so the strength 
is shared between all four of the strands. And then, with the aid of the screwdriver, spudges, whatever, put it under the battery and saw it away to get the tape out. It takes a lot of strength. I broke the threads about six, seven times. So I had to keep doing new threads, but threads cheap. And then eventually you can get down to the bottom and then it's free. That's how you do it. That's how I saved the day. The new battery's in, it's working fine. So, good luck.